Hello and welcome to this first look mod video. Today we have the privilege of an early access look at the large UK cow barn by MS Modern. So let's jump in and have a look. Let's go. So into construction under animals, cows. Down at the bottom there we have it, the large UK cow barn. It holds 50 cows. We grab it. It's 100,000. It's not cheap. Looking very nice. Hopefully we'll get a nice, nice British map to put it in soon. Give it a little twist. Alright, so we'll pop it down there. We'll see what sort of uh, footing it takes up and, and what it does to our terrain. Not bad at all. That's quite tidy. Alright, let's sit down and have a look at it. So as for the cow barn itself, it has custom animated gates and inside light to switch on manually. Uh, water is filled automatically. Manure spawns within the barn. So we'd have to go in there and clear it out. And its daily upkeep is 100 pounds, euros or dollars, depending on what you're working in. Now, it says it holds 150 cows in its blurb. But when we just went and had a little look at placing it, it said 50. So let's just check that. That's what we'll check first. So the gates are triggered. They're in the middle. The two on the other side are much easier to grab a hold of I noticed I think because we also have the uh, the animal trigger here sometimes it wants to hit that as well 50 so it is 50 so perhaps the the one is an accident but yeah we'll we'll, we'll get ourselves some cows shall we we'll stick some in we'll get ourselves some big girls we'll just grab 10 and purchase there we go there we we'll let them roam around see how they get on and we'll shut gate So if I can find the trigger, there it is, in the middle. And again on this one, in the middle. Over on this side as well, this is where we have our light switch. We go here, turn on shed lights. Fully functioning, very nice. Got the uh, the old tin roof. Some nice beam work. Man loves his beams. I like that it's old and dirty in here. We've got mold and moss in the corners and around the bottom. Even on the girders, uh, looking all worn and rusted. Lots of wear. The wood as well. You know, that's that's not fresh. That's not brand new. I like this shed. Very nice job indeed. Nice textures. Cows are noisy. Plenty of space in there as well. Like I say, water is automatic. That's their drinking point here. So on this gate we can come in. No sweat. It was just, I find it's just because they have a, obviously a quick look. And uh, yeah, just in the center of mainly the one that's opposite, that one over there, because it's on the uh, animal trigger as well. But you can um, back up an animal trailer in there and get them in. Uh, you can purchase them at the animal dealer and have them direct, or you can just purchase them like we did. So a little look around the outside. We have our. Uh, slurry fill point here I have a butchers around the back I like it so we've got airflow getting in airflow is important very nice I do like the paler paler wood we've had a lot of sheds and a lot of barns that we've looked at lately and they're all very brand new I like I like this wood and we've got our milk trigger here for our milk so around the front is where we put in our feed and our bedding now for this just to check because from what i gather from what little i've done with um animals so far in 25 that a lot of them don't take bales so i'm wondering If there's a converted thing come over at all with MS Modern, if it'll accept a, a bale. Oh, it will accept a bale. There we go. If we put it down, it accepts it. So will it also take a bale for bedding? Being a bit naughty for convenience here. The science. So if I pop that down. No, 
no, so we're still going to have to uh, shred a bale for bedding. But it's nice that we know that we can stick a, a hay bale in there or a silage bale in there and that'll I'll get them fed. So what we do, we do have some machinery about. I'll get the straw blower and um, we'll see if we can blow some straw in here for bedding. Cow sticking the head over like that. Getting the head over there to get the feed. Love it. Right, let's get this is a straw blower. So we've got a K brand blower. Let's see what we can do with it. We may have to adjust our pipe, maybe. We may have to go in and do it. We'll give it a try on the inside. We'll see if this is uh, any different. So I'm going to come through with the blower. Let's see if at any point we can get a trigger for this. Doesn't seem so. So I've had a little look at where the trigger markers are, and I'm wondering if I was a little bit close on my first pass. So I'm going to give it another go. See if it'll... There we go. So it is there. I was just a little bit close. So we can get some bedding down. So we've got a full bale in there. I just want to see... If I stick another one in, if we get a, a straw bed and texture pop up at all. Here it comes. So you have to have it more than 50% of the straw level for the for the bed end of the straw to come through. And then once it does, it starts to fill up nicely. So now that they're all bedded down, let's see if we can get some feed in there for them. We've got a mixer of TMR. So we'll see whether we have to be a certain distance away. Oh no, this wants to trigger quite happily. So we'll unload this. If we move along, does it change the thickness of the, the fill? I think it does, doesn't it? So if I... If I stay still, does that suddenly fill out there or not? Or was that just me being um, hopeful of realism within the game? So there we are. They're well fed. So now that they're all in, they're all fed, they're all bedded down, let's just take a look at them in the menu. And that allows us to see a little bit on what our fill levels would be. So that's around about 50% there, isn't it? So I should imagine 30,000 litre fill on food. 20,000 litres on straw. So our first bale was only 9,000 litres. You have to hit 10,000 litres before it starts to become present. But there we have it. The large UK cow barn by MS Modern. Hopefully coming soon. And hopefully we'll see more of these uh, lovely British mods as well. Lord knows I need them. But again, that was custom lighting, custom lights, water automatic, manure spawn inside, plus 100,000, 100 on daily upkeep. This gave us 50 cows as capacity. But yeah, I like it. It looks good. The trigger were a little bit bit squiffy, so I'll, I'll let MS know about that. But yeah, I, th I think lovely. Absolutely lovely. Can't wait to get more of them. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.